We come in live from the command center of the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Good morning, guys, and everybody, good evening, good afternoon all over the world. I'm bringing you back to my unfinished project. I started with my portable generator live here at the JW Solar USA. Guys, it has been a year since I, I charged these batteries. These are SLA, seal lead acid batteries. I was trying, I was saving after converted to uh, lithium batteries. So I never talked about these batteries for over a year. The last video, you can see it. I'll put the, uh, the link on the description below for you to see exactly what I was talking about on these batteries. In today's video, we're gonna be checking um, the seal lead acid that is already um, uh, configured here. You can see these are the ones you can use on a APS or UPS batteries, or you can use on a jump pack for your vehicles. And these are the kind of batteries there. These are 22 amp hours, 12 volt batteries. And I was trying to design a 12 volt system and you guys have seen a lot of um, videos I've done with the um, uh, with the 1012 Magnum inverter charger 1012 and uh, 12 volt system uh, I set up here and um, I've done a lot of tests I've done a lot of things on my portable generator you can go back on my playlist and can see that uh, is uncompleted, you know, ne never completed this project. And you guys have seen to the latest model of the uh, Magnum um, 2012 inverter charger, the big boy. And it's, it already started another project on that one and it has not yet been completed because I have a lot of projects on my hands and... Um, I don't just have the time yet to put this 12 volt system in place, but maybe it's getting there, which um, we are dealing with this uh, crisis right now, coronavirus, and it might be handy right now. So guys, you never know. I need a system I can haul. I need a system I can do something with. This will be a great system to haul outside, which is the Volkswagen Eat Golf. It's already stacked. And it's a 12 volt module. So guys, this is what we're gonna do. Today what we're gonna do, we're gonna test the voltage of these batteries. They've been sitting for one year. So they can tell you sometimes the shelf life of this battery if they get charged being the shelf. Um, maybe six months or something, the voltage is gonna be started sagging. But I wanna show you, this is how you store batteries. If you have a 12 volt or 24 volt, 48 volt, don't store them a 48 volt or 24 volt configuration. Um, put them back all in parallel and um, it's just like that. All positive to positive, negative to negative. And um, you store them that way and they're going to last longer. Okay? Because the voltage, the amps is still going to be maintained and they're going to be uh, really uh, balanced well. So let's check the voltage of this entire battery bank. I'll get back to you. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Live here at the JW Solar USA. We are back on AGM C-Lead Acid Battery. Talk about it today. In today's test, we're going to be using my Fluke 1 and -on 1 meter. Uh, you guys have seen reviews on this. And uh, I'm going to test. We use this one and test the batteries. All right, if you guys can see, I have the meter right here. Let's test it if we still have some power on it. All right, it's still running, zero, zero. I have the probes here. And uh, make sure I have the camera set up um, so that we can be um, shaky or whatever. You guys can have a better readings here. Stay tuned. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take these probes out. We can take... These guys out, they have a cover and take them out and we can set up this entire thing and settle this thing really quick. Go ahead and volt. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick um, one of these things here, if I get it to hold better. And uh, even with um, using two hands, it's kind of tough sometimes. So we have that one plug on the far corner right there. You want to draw power anytime you um, install in the um, inverter or trying to test, go on the opposite side. So you can see from that corner, the positive is there and the negative is here. So I'm going to tap on this one here and for you to see exactly what's the voltage. There we go. Let's see here. 12.49 it's almost a 12.5 volt this battery has been sitting for a year guys so i just want to show you how these batteries are well maintained by paralleling these batteries that save the life or uh, the life of this battery here see that so this is what it is and these batteries are still balanced and these batteries are still on the same voltage i can do the same thing jumping from one side to another and guys it, it will give me the same reading trust me because let me try from the back battery right here it's closer to me exactly see that so just imagine just um uh imagine if they're all in parallel so by doing so they're all gonna read the same voltage because they're gonna be uh holding on the same voltage and the same amperage so that keeps it well balanced so we're going to the second battery it's getting tougher here for me but um right there so the voltage is a 12 volt configuration 12.49 so guys believe it or not take my word they're all balanced 12 volt and what i'm going to do now we're going to initialize a charge on these batteries make sure we bring these batteries really to the top because they can charge at 14.4 13.8 or 13.6 approximately i can't even take them out to show you the specs on the side but today we're going to go back to our old good friend here, which is the 12 volt VMAX battery charger. The model number is the BC1220. So 12 volt and a 20 amp charger. We can charge these batteries really fast. It's designed for here for AGM, gel, and SLA. Acid glass mat gel batteries and c lead acid very powerful charger and um you can go back and look at my v max charger or 12 volt charger you will get all the specification and you get all the reviews i made a lot of videos on uh, v max batteries and uh, with this charger this is i used to have the uh, bc 1215 which is a 15 amp it has all the uh, indication here, indications here to tell you if the battery, it does about seven functionality and make sure the battery is um, tested after it's done charge to see. I hope you can see this. And these are all the stuff it does right here. I'm trying to zoom that and you guys can see how everything is going to test the battery before it goes to float it doesn't pass the test it's going to do it again so it has a, a fan back here on and off switch and with a nice cable flexible cable so it takes a 15 right there it's a 5 amp at 250 volt ac so it's a 12 volt dc 20,000 amps, which is uh, milliamps, which is, uh, sorry, 20,000 milliamps, which is uh, 20 amps. Very good battery. 
oh there you go you can see more of the specs here what this thing can do different type when it's charging it maintains a diesel feeder and uh it does an awesome job so this is what it is guys while we're charging the batteries live at the jw solar usa stay tuned at the moment we're gonna have this machine probably sit right here i don't want it to sit on top of the wire so we can sit it right here and i'm gonna plug this machine the charger and we're gonna have the uh, probes and it's designed with a nice um, connector it looks like a Anderson connector um, to get your batteries all to get your stuff really uh, nice and unplug right here you can just discharge just, just like those Abo Freight solar panels they have these kind of connectors it's no Anderson connectors I forgot how it's called and uh, plug it back here you get your alligator clips right here and we're gonna attach them one on this side here I know if you can see that on the video right there like I told you, the opposite sides always. Now we got a, a load of sludge. A spark. So you guys can see, it's already plugged on the far away corner right there. And all the way on the other side. So the left side and the right side. So that's how you charge batteries. You gotta charge them in the opposite direction. That's how you draw and charge simultaneously. So now we're gonna take this machine, so we're collecting dust now, and we're gonna turn this thing. You can see the thing, the machine is gonna initialize and try to get the batteries where they are. It's gonna tell you the state where they are or the function. And it's gonna lit up and choose exactly where it's supposed to be and we can go from there let me dim these lights a little bit see so let's do it fire up this machine and see it's gonna initialize running see the lights running then it's checking so it sits at number three yeah I think it's number three here Yep, number four, I suppose. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. Number three. Dim the lights, number three. See that? So number three, if we look at number three here on the charge, on the chat right here, number three says bulk charge. Okay, it's a bulk charge. So now it's going to be putting a lot of current on the batteries to charge them and after that it's going to go absorb and after that is the fifth is going to do the test and six is try to recondition the batteries because the silet acid and agm so um whatever to break the desulfation and from there like you said you see the the the, the names uh, all the stuff right here it's a smart charger it knows exactly and from there, it's going to do a float. If it doesn't pass the recondition, it's going to go back to the test and run the entire process again. So, this is what we're doing right now. It's charging. There you go. It's charging the batteries. It's now on number four. You push it right away to number four, which is on the chart. It's ab absorption. Okay. The voltage so it's, it's pushing now the uh, absorbing is a seven stage auto um, automatic automatic charger all right guys and after a while the fan is gonna turn on or kick in and cool the system because of the components in there that makes this charger a really good charger stay tuned and thanks for watching and uh 
stay tuned for the next uh video on that or update and if you're interested on these projects or bringing you back to where we started before and we're gonna talk about agm and sealant acid again a little bit just for a short time as we prepare to store these batteries again because i have a project for them which is not even completed yet and i'm hoping to get it done sooner or later live here at the jw solar usa thanks for watching love you guys all bye for now